Greetings everyone. Welcome to trigonometry. Here's the intro video to sort of get you going in the subject. Trigonometry is going to expect that you've either already had a college algebra course or uh, uh, another course relating to algebra that would have had you practicing all of your uh, factoring of polynomial and polynomial-like objects. It would have uh, had you practicing graphing uh, all different sorts of uh, equations uh, in algebra, parabolas and polynomials and rationals, things with asymptotes, um, just so that you've experienced those things. Um, and then in this course, we expand in a particular direction of trigonometry being uh, the, the relationship of angles and uh, side type measurements, linear measurements as uh, some sort of relationship to angles. So in trigonometry, mostly the, the, the main part of the study is some sort of relationship with uh, rotation and angles. Okay, so in this course, you of course start with talking about angle measures and we use um, right triangles and Pythagorean theorem to expand that into trig ratios the trigonometric ratios such as sine, cosine, and tangent, and so on. And then the identities that go along with those things and how they relate to each other. Then those, of course, are going to become the applications that we can use out in the world and also applications that uh, lead into calculus topics. The graphs that go along with the objects themselves, the, the trig ratios themselves, as algebraic type of objects, okay, um, the, the sinusoids and things like that. Of course, you need to be able to solve an equation that has a trig ratio or a trig uh, operation in it. And that we'll be covering that. Uh, trig laws are the law of sines and law of cosines and how that relates uh, to the triangles that we think of in everyday uh, life and out in the world, right? Uh, vectors and applications is where most uh, trig classes usually end and that's uh, because most people who or a lot of people who take trigonometry also need some of the physics aspect of what angles can do in a physical situation right uh, I'll also be covering a small bit of complex numbers at the end and how trigonometry helps us in understanding the complex world uh, a bit better in the process of these videos, I'll be using GeoGebra anytime we need a visual display of something, especially with the graphs. GeoGebra is a 100% free program that turns your computer into a, a super-powered graphing calculator, basically, which also can handle any sort of algebra uh, solving and equations um, and helping you understand things uh, by mixing the visual and the algebraic together. Um, like I said, big bonus, it's free, right? Uh, OpenStax is where uh, a lot of the, um, the textbook examples that inspire what I'm doing here come from, but also these are uh, the textbooks that I'm endeavoring to use in my classes as well. Um, even if you don't though, it's a great secondary resource if you already have a primary and they're 100% free, uh, good, uh, good things to read and more problems to practice. Uh, so I hope you enjoy this uh, line of lectures that I have on trigonometry for you.